You know, I'm a simple person when it comes to OCG Thursday. I see gadgets, we profile it. So, what is up guys, I'm Cole here. We got Brown Robbie out today to kind of reminisce on how shitty gadgets are today. And it's a shame because I've been with this deck for years and I miss it. But the Princess Cup, one lucky female duelist out there topped with gadgets in the here and now. And it's spectacular to see red, yellow, and green returning back to the field, getting the chance to do something. And with them comes the beautiful pendulum scales uh, mix and guitar, um, kind of reminding us, hey, pendulum summon all the gadgets you want and move on along with your day. It's one of the, the cool things about this deck that it's always kind of had going for it ever since we've got the scales is we've kind of been going for the pendulum aspect of the deck. Just unload your hand via pendulum summoning and continue along with your day. Now, remember, the TCG doesn't have needle fiber. It's not a bad thing because uh, we get to keep the deck a little bit more pure as opposed to a lot of the other things going on out there. But very, very excellent uh, combo extenders. The ability to actually stop by Beast or even um, Musashi. Musashi wins card second summoning target one machine mo type monster in your graveyard. You're not a normal summoner or special monster with that monster's name for the rest of this turn except oh, unless there are no spell trap cards in your graveyard. Then when this effect resolves, you have to add that monster to your hand and then this card gets to attack while in defense mode. That effect doesn't particularly matter but add some gadgets back to your hand and literally just set up your wall for days. I I really like what uh, this duelist was doing with this deck. So let's dig into the list, shall we? Triple Ash Blossom, one Gofu, two Turtles, one Birdman, one Global, triple Gold Gadget, triple Green Gadget, triple Red Gadget, triple Silver Gadget, triple a Guitar, two Mix, two Tin Goldfish, and triple Yellow Gadget. Spells two Disonator from the Grave, one Monster Reborn, triple Twin Twister, triple Infinite Transience, and double Strike. No side deck, remember, this tournament is designed to be straight one out of ones. Uh, you're going to just make sure you beat your opponent game one. Your opponent can't counter your strategy because there is no round two. And then the extra deck, one summon sorceress, one security dragon, one firewall, two needle fiber, one small little utopia package, one gear gigant, one nova, one infinity, one wonder magician, one musashi, one naturia beast, one amatrix, and one chimera tech mega fleet wrapping up this list. Now, like I said, I, I love just the cool combo ability out of this deck. Um, Veiler is the only real thing that kind of hurts, depending on which one of these you're kind of forced on. But, to say the least, seeing this deck show back up definitely makes me who just all the happier to be completely honest with you guys. So I, I do have to ask though before we go on, what, what do you guys think about this? Um, might be something worth testing around once this comes out as a more fun deck. Um, maybe even in a regional. We'll see. Alright, moving on along here. Gokies are going to be the next deck list we're going to look at today. And Gokies, they, they've become more standardized because of Super Agent just kind of being included in the deck. Now, remember, if you know the top of your opponent's deck, guess it, special summon it, acts as a combo extender. One of the things that I've kind of seen with this particular list, um, and this concept more or so over the last few weeks, as it's, it's honestly been evolving. Uh, whoever has originally built this deck, um, it's literally just Warrior Toolbox spam. Because literally all these fuckers end up adding extra cards to your hand when they leave the field. So you literally just exceed with them, they all will float into additional copies. Which is actually just absurd. Like, once the TCG actually figures out how to build this concept, I definitely think we still need Octo Stretch for this to be good. I think this is literally the last thing we're missing. Because uh, we have Headbat, Rice Scorpio, Suplex, and Twist Cobra. But for a concept, it's literally just kind of coming out of left field and being a toolbox. I I love it. It seems so cool. And it's not like TCGI's Max C to uh, worry about this particular thing. So let's dig into the list, shall we? So Triple Ash Blossom, one Destroy Mirror Ibley, one Dot Scraper, one Effect Veiler. Triple Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, two Headbat, 
two Octo Stretch, one Risk Scorpio, triple Suprex, triple Twist Cobra, triple Junk Forward, triple Max C, one Thrasher, and two Soap Agent. Remember, Forward Ability is key to this deck. Uh, just making free link monsters while adding to your hand. If, if you've ever been frustrated when playing against a combo deck, well, wait until your opponent just starts adding all of these back to their hand for free. Uh, spells, triple designator from the grave, one phoenix, the divine sword, one double summon, two rematch, one instant fusion, one mirror, moon mirror shield, one rota, one soul charge, and one the phantom knights of shade brigadine. Once again, this is acting as a combo extender, allowing you to go further with the potential spam that you are creating. Uh, the extra deck down here, one Troy Mare Unicorn, two Troy Mare Phoenix, one Troy Mare Mermaid, one Griffin, one Goblin, two Cerberus, one Summon Sorceress, one Link Karibo, two Isolde, one Firewall, one Borload, and one Rajan. Once again, TCG is still missing a good part of this extra deck. And in the side deck, one DD Crowman, one Effect Veiler, two Dark Hole, one Feather Duster, one Twin Twisters, triple Dimensional Barrier, triple Evenly Matched, one sh or two Strike, and one Unending Nightmare. I bang this up. Now remember, this particular deck, it's literally just link spam, link spam, link spam. Move along with your day. And I definitely, as I said, once the TCG gets this, I definitely expect this to start becoming more of a threat in the TCG. Because all we need is Octo Stretch and the Troy Mare Engine. And I'm pretty sure we're going to get a lot more degenerate uh, with these things. Now, the last list I have for you guys is Fairy Tale Luna Control. Now, Luna has been one of these cards that a lot of people kind of discount and forget about. Luna has a, um, a very unique effect. It's uh, when it's normal summon, you can add an 1850 from your deck to your hand. And once per turn quick effect, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls. Your opponent can send one monster with that monster's name from their deck or extra deck to the graveyard to negate this effect. Otherwise, return them back to your hand. So, you hand your opponent an offbeat kaiju. What's your opponent gonna do? <laughs> you know, there's nothing. Also, this deck actually is playing Timatan, the uh, Steel Battalion Dragon. And remember, if there are three more cards in the same column as this card, quick effect, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can only use that effect once per turn. And then, if this card was special summoned, destroy all other cards in this card's column. Unused zones in this card's column cannot be used. Literally, it flanks out 2,000. You can mess up your opponent by handing them a kaiju in the column. Uh, you can Luna back your Kaijus. Literally, the deck is meant to grind your opponent out of resources uh, while capitalizing on putting walls up, uh, other walls, hand traps to slow them down. Uh, I would definitely say that this deck definitely takes the cake of being an annoyance in the format. So, this is Luna Control. Triple Ash Blossom, one Black Luster Soldier, one Gofu, one Steam the Cloak, one Doggeron, triple Eater of Millions, Triple Luna, one Gadarla, one Gamma Seal, two Ghost Ogre, triple Reaper, one Global, one Kumamungi, triple Max C, one Thunder King Kaiju, two Timaltan, two Cosmic Cyclone, two Dark Hole, one Feather Duster, one Kaiju Slumber, two Desires, two Scapegoat, traps triple evenly, two Strike, pretty self explanatory on the trap board. Uh, the extra deck, we have Trimere. Ah, oh, man, go back. Phoenix, Griffin, Cerberus, Topological Bomber, Chisbania, Topological Bomber, Security Dragon, Saruja, two Link Karibo, one Electromite, one Needle Fiber, one Borload, one White Aura Dolphin, one Wonder Magician, one Formula, Side Deck, one Lancia, two Scythe, one Battle Fader, one Inspector Friend, one Trap Eater, two Sanctum, two Different Dimensional Ground, two Mirror Force, and triple Red Reboot. Hoo hoo! <laughs> As an anti meta concept, like. Fairy Tale Luna, it's, it's a little bit more gimmicky than anything, but sometimes gimmick gets you just to where you need to be in the current game of Yu-Gi-Oh. You know, don't discount it just because it, it seems gimmicky. Um, a lot of people, sometimes it takes skill to play these types of decks. You know, that's why we like to look at the OCG, see some of the crazier shit that they're cooking over there. So, what do you guys think? Remember, tomorrow is Marco Watch Friday, and that is the best goddamn time of the week because I get to kick back, shove my feet on my desk, and not wear pants like we are today. And probably 
the best segment that this channel has. So hope you guys have a good rest of your day. There'll be some more content coming out later today, and have a good afternoon, guys. The ride never ends, guys. Make sure you enable those notifications to get the latest videos that are being posted on this channel. Make sure you guys check out Van Cole 40 for my Card Fight Vanguard channel. And join me and House of Champions on the Zodiac Duelist TV Twitch stream. I will be interacting with our audiences. And please check out No Limit Gaming and LGTCG.com for the cheapest trading cards on the market. Thanks for watching, guys, and please have a good day.